What's up everybody? Today we are about to learn how to do a realistic portrait with markers. I have in front of me, uh, this is a sketch, it's a block in of this girl. It's a picture I saw on Tumblr, I think. And uh, I wanted to use this as a subject matter because I like the colors and the values in it. That'll make for a good uh, demo. So I did the block in sketch. The block in is basically just when you rough out the shapes of the drawing. You know, it's something that I learned when I was in college in one of my painting classes. But I'm gonna use the same technique and I'm gonna apply it to markers. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, after I got the sketch down, I did that off stream because I thought that was kind of boring, but I got the colors ready that I'm gonna use and I'll have a whole list of all of the colors that go into this picture. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with her skin, which is E50. She has like, a yellowish skin tone. So this E50 will make for a nice base. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna come in and just like put all the colors down like flat for the most part. I'm gonna leave a little highlight maybe around the nose area and maybe some towards under her eye. But for the most part, it'll be mainly flat. I'm gonna build up my, my tones and my values gradually. My approach with this is gonna be a little bit different in that I'm not too worried about getting that nice, flat, even color that I normally would go for when I do the more uh, cartoonish stuff, I guess. Since I'm going for something more realistic, I'm gonna be blending a lot of my colors together. But I'm still gonna to try to get some hard shadows and things in there where I can. It's just a stylistic thing, I guess. So I have a reference photo. That I'm, I mean, I, I'll provide that as well. But uh, I'm using the brush in, and I'm using that to build up my tones. And you can see I'm kind of working around to make this highlight on the nose. I'm gonna try to do this whole drawing with nothing but markers. So no pens or anything like that. I'm just wanna just try to, I mean, with the exception of the pencil that I use for the, for the sketch, but I'm gonna try to build up the tones and let that do all the work instead of having any pens and things like that. Hopefully, that's the plan. Let's see if I can stick to that plan. But by using the side of the marker, I can get the, like very various like tones. So it's not all one shade, I guess. It's the word I'm looking for one value maybe but I'm gonna come over that with a few more a few more colors I'll cover up the lips as well all of this is gonna be like I'm building up my colors in this so I'm not too concerned about like um, going over the lips and the teeth and things like that because once it comes together it'll all make sense There's an ear over here. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna do next is, I gotta start getting some of these, uh, these undertones on her skin. It's kind of pinkish in some areas. So like around her eyes, uh, a little bit on her nose, a little bit on the cheekbones, a tiny bit on the chin. I'm gonna try to build up all these values gradually. She also has some freckles, but I'll save that for like towards the end. step away from that for a second because I want to fill in these eyes while I'm thinking about it. I 
I never leave eyes all white. I always add in some values because it's not totally white. And it, the eyes are like the little balls inside of the skull, so they have form too. So you can't forget about that. But for right now, we're just putting in some of the flat colors. We'll gradually build up those as well. Let me see. What color is this? This is E. Well, no, wait. This is YR000. I'm going to come. Let's see. Looking at my reference photo. has a lot of straight hairs on her forehead here and it's like really the cast shadow from the hairs is kind of making this little orangish color up here This is E, oh wait, this is R01 by the way. The corner of the eyes. Put in these pupils. She has like these greenish hazel eyes. A little too dark. Let me see what else I got. Spring dim. That might be better. Okay, that's a little bit better. It's not too overbearing. And use this to kind of knock back the yellow color a little bit. see what else do I want to go for the warm gray let me see I have to because he's the cornea of the eye it's a little bit around it this is warm gray one it's also it's really kind of dry but uh it should be good for what I need it for right here at least
start working my way around these eyes. I'm gonna give them a moment to dry up a little bit before I do. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start working my way around these lips. This color is this peach. Let's go for peach. Okay, I got E42. I'm gonna start giving her a little bit more detail around the eyes. It's looking weird right now, but as we build up all these colors, it'll slowly start to come together. Start working in the eyebrows. This is E44. not looking so dead anymore it's starting to come to life a little bit I 
still a little bit of a cast shadow on the inside of her eye. Let me see what color should I use for that. I think toner gray might. Not sure. Let's see. Work on this nose a little bit. Colors are all over the place. Okay, let me see what else. So I'm, I'm about to do this cast shadow under her nose. I'm gonna use a little bit of this orange first. And then I'm gonna use this cashew. Okay, let's see. I have to do more to her lips now. I need the right color. Something that's not too intense. Let me see where I got. I think this is actually something that I can use. I got E33 here, which is a brown color, actually. Pretty windy outside. Okay, so the teeth are in shadow, so you might have an urge to make the teeth white, but they're really not white. And more of a brownish color. And when you see the reference photo, you'll see what I mean. What next? This is like light prawn. Try to build up some of these tones in the lips. Her lips look a little dried out. But I'll be able to, um, I'll be able to convey that a little bit more accurately with a white pencil. I won't worry about that too much right here. What am I looking for? I guess we can start with this. 
So I'm using Cashew again. Actually, no, I don't want to use Cashew. Let me use E47, which is another dark brown, but it's not as dark. So I don't want to overdo it here. shadows on her teeth actually and then I need to play up those shadows so it doesn't look like she has butt teeth So it's starting to come together a little bit, but we still got a little ways to go. Her eye still needs some more work. When I'm doing stuff like portraits, I try to keep this stuff uh, fairly accurate, but I don't get too hung up on the details trying to get them spot on because I think that it takes away from what you bring to the piece. But you want to do you want to do just enough to kind of get the likeness there, get all of the main details and things like that. eyelashes in but the brush tip even with the tip of it is kind of broad hard to get it in there but it's all right more to this nose area and then I'm gonna work my way to the other eye so find the right color am I holding it yes I am holding it in my hand
I'm gonna try to play up some of these features around her mouth. This right side of her face is a little bit tricky, so let me see. I don't want to overdo it with this color, but I had to see how it works out. It's like of a almost a purplish color. I'm gonna do her neck area real quick. This is probably the most challenging part is the eyes, the one the uh the eyelashes and the eyelids and everything with just the marker.
trying to play up these shadows around her eyes without going overboard because it's very easy to do so. So the drawing is starting to come together. Still got to put in a little bit more details, but for the most part, she's not looking like a, a zombie anymore. Needs a little bit more color though. meant to use cashew So the drawing is starting to come together. Still got to put in a little bit more details, but for the most part, she's not looking like a, a zombie anymore. Needs a little bit more color though. color I actually meant to use cashew Trying to play up these shadows around her eyes without going overboard because it's very easy to do so.
So the drawing is starting to come together. Still got to put in a little bit more details, but for the most part, she's not looking like a, a zombie anymore. Needs a little bit more color though. color I actually meant to use cashew quite a few colors I'm using here. Chain was a little bit too big. About an hour in. color what I do with it here we go I'll do a little bit more to the jawbone over here Thank you. 
start adding in some of the last details on her face. She has some freckles. And um, what else? Just the highlights on the eyes and the nose. So I'm going to use this. This is a E31. I'm just going to go throughout this. Just tapping it just a little bit. Trying to be careful not to overdo it. It's too orange. Something lighter. This is E41. It's just light enough to kind of show that there's some freckles there without it being too overbearing so she doesn't look like got pop marks all over her face or something. a few more let's see she got some up here a few around here This is a fun part. Now I can use this gel pen. is pretty much done we have the neck to worry about but that's not really much just a little bit of uh let's see either one just a little bit to do not a whole lot
actually, this is what I'm gonna do because his hair is almost has a bluish, it almost has a bluish tint to it. So I'm gonna put this blue down first. This is B39 Prussian blue. And I'm gonna use this as a base and then I'm gonna go over top with it using uh got some faint highlights in here too. I'm gonna go over it with the uh with the E79 cashew. About an hour and 13 minutes in. These videos can run really long sometimes. So I might have to edit this one down just a bit. fun to do these sometimes though. I don't really do realism like that. I used to do it a lot when I was younger, around high school. I spent a lot of years practicing at it and I got pretty good at it. And then I reached a point where I just kind of stopped doing it. But every now and then it's good to flex those muscles. pencil to get some of these, these hairs on her forehead. This is kind of cheating for what I was trying to do, but I don't think it's 
that big a deal. The E44 again. So I'm trying to get these subtle highlights throughout the hair. In the reference photo, it's uh, kind of hard to make out much of the hair because she has really dark hair. But you can see just enough. Put a few highlights in there. You can get the, uh, those implied hot, uh, hair strands throughout the drawing, which is really what I'm going for here. cashew Start working my way down to her clothes. She has on this, this probably black jacket, but the uh, in the in this photo, in this reference photo, it looks almost bluish, like a dark bluish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this down, like I did for the hair, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add like a, a neutral, like a dark neutral gray over the top, and that should do the trick.
work my way over to the right side. I had to do the same thing here. And I'll actually be able to put this color away. Down with that. Let's do the rest of this hair on her right. So, what I'm going to do for the hair after I'm done with this is I'll add in, I'll use a white pencil to add in a few more details, which will help better describe. Um, the hair mass, I guess, and the strands. And then I'll use like a dark brown pencil to put the strands, like the little flyaway hairs. Okay, I'm going to use B95 for her sweater, and then I'm going to go over it with another color. We're an hour and 33 minutes in. So this is gonna be a long one. But that's all right. It'll take a little bit of time to edit and upload and all that stuff, but the video will hopefully be helpful to those looking to understand how these markers work when it comes to doing stuff like this. So this is a uh, BV23 going over this blue shirt or sweater because that's really what it is. At least that's what it looks like from this photo. When working with markers, a lot of times, even though if you have you have a lot of colors to pick from, with Copic there's 358 colors to pick from, but you still run into an issue where you need a color that's not quite there. You have to either layer the colors up, or you have to find ways to get creative. You could probably use pencils or something like that, but. Generally, what I do is, if there's a color that I'm trying to trying to achieve, I take one color and I put it as like an undertone, like I did here. And then I put something on top. 
and usually that's enough but sometimes it's not so you got to go a little bit further okay I got neutral gray number eight and now we put in the finishing touches on her clothing and it doesn't seem that apparent just yet but you see the subtle difference because of the blue Nothing's ever just like one color. Like you may see some blue in there, but it's usually a little bit more to it. It's a really good book called uh, Color and Light by James Gurney, which I recently got, which I've been reading. And it kind of helps me understand the relationship between colors and light and how your eye perceives certain things. like in a natural light, you know, in nature, and how to describe that when you're doing a painting or any other type of art. It's kind of tricky. But I think that this helps. Definitely recommend that you check out that book though. I'm going back over this again with the blue. So on the left side of the drawing, in the background, it's kind of this brick pattern going on. And it's blue, but it has like this greenish yellowish undertone to it so i'm putting this down first to kind of build up those tones use this ivory as well So this background is kind of out of focus and I want to kind of show that a little bit. So what I'll have to do is uh, crossfade these colors a little bit.
So the background is supposed to be like out of focus and blurry. So I'm trying to get that look going. But it's not something I've ever really attempted before. So this is kind of new for me. So it'll be a learning experience. So I'm using this light, what is this, B41? B41 powder blue. I'm using this light color and I'm just gonna go over the whole thing. And the idea is that the light color will wash out some of these darker colors, kind of get them to get muddy a little bit because I want it to look a little bit out of focus. That might be as good as I'll be able to get it. Let's come back up here. Let me get out a second to dry while I do the right side. And the right side is really not much. It's just a few shapes. But they're so out of focus that you can't really make out what they are. You can just tell that she's like, I guess, on a, on a street somewhere outside. So I'm looking for ivory. Let's see, is this too dark? A little dark. I can use E41. I think that'd be better. It's also kind of dark. I think I need BG90. It might be the best color for this.
pink color for this. Tender pink, nice, two, two tips. Let's try this. That way, if this is not light enough, you yeah, see this is not dark enough, it's not pink enough. I'm trying to find something, nice balance. Let's try light pink. This is better. Pink. Now this part is going to require two colors. It's going to use this, and then I'm going to need something to kind of wash it out a bit because it's not really this blue. It's more of a greenish grayish blue hmm I think this what is this G58 no wait G85 rather so I'm going to put this down and I'm going to put down a Maybe a toner gray or something. And then that should be good. And then we can call this finished at two hours and three minutes. At least that'll be the original runtime. I'll try my best to edit some of this out or some of, edit some of it down. Cause it's really long. And it'll take forever to upload.
right. Just about finished. Let's try to crossfade some of these colors a bit. details Some mountain of colors over here that I used. Two things left. You have a white pencil. I can find one. There we are. I'm sharpen this. There's white pencil. Some of these subtle highlights in the hair. Markers are falling off the desk. There's no more room left. So I'm just trying to get a few subtle highlights going. even to kind of get some of those plane changes going a little bit on the forehead now this is a thing that you can do with markers if you want but I think that it's better do it with uh, something a little bit more precise like a pencil or a pen. I didn't want to use any pens in this though. I wanted this to be like strictly marker for the most part. finished there's a little detail on her sweater that I'll add in I'll do that off stream though the stream has ran long enough that you get the idea this is a 
realistic portrait done with Copic markers and about two pencils. Hope you all found this informative because it was pretty fun to work on. I'll upload the video, try to edit it down. But uh, thanks for watching, man. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.